द ह्यू ऑफ अल्लाह द कलर ऑफ परफेक्शन The reading of the Quran should be with understanding to ponder intellectually of its words and their significance. Words are just lines on a page to some people, but Allah has made us to name things, and with naming comes thought. The small word for hue of Allah can be easily glossed over, passed by when we read the Quran as something insignificant, but when looked at with a human mind, it reveals a rainbow of understanding, a glory of Allah. Humanity needs to step up above the level of animals and by studying the Quran with full and deep meaning we become better for it. Our religion is the baptism of Allah and who can baptize better than Allah and it is he whom we worship. Say, will ye dispute with us about Allah, seeing that he is our Lord and your Lord, that we are responsible for our doings and ye for yours, and that we are sincere in our faith in him? This is Yusuf Ali's not so glorious attempt at translating a quite profound word and verse, and when I read this, I just floated past, oblivious to the meaning and the wisdom it is trying to impress upon us. We can do better. The word in the verse is sibgata. The words derived from the root basically means change or to bring a change. It means anything with which a cloth or something is colored and the means to color cloth. It is used for a man who colors cloth and someone who colors his talk with exaggeration and lies. It also means baptism. Significantly for our discussion, it also means way of life or community. But what is the meaning of Allah's color? The verse 2138 which uses this term answers this question. It means to fully adopt the laws of Allah. The way color permeates the warp and weft of a cloth and completely changes its color by homogenizing with Allah's laws, there is a basic change in human life and this change permeates his thinking and one transforms into a completely different human being. In other words, his latent capabilities start becoming developed and godly traits begin to be reflected in him. Just like Allah's opposing traits never clash with each other but are quite balanced, so those opposing traits also begin to be found in man with complete balance. This thing is only possible within a society not in isolation. Therefore, the color of Allah is not something which can be attained in isolation or through spiritual meditation in some hideout. It is the name of living a life in a Quranic society that is a society based on the Quranic values. Here is the explanation of the verse. Hue of God. And who can give a better hue to life than God? And it is he alone whom we serve. Hue of God, we take our hue from God. Nearest to God are those who have adopted his sibga, hue or color, his attributes in the human capacity. That means adopting the divine attributes in our limited human capacity such as kindness, empathy, creativity, mercy, forgiveness, turning to people in love and affection, attaining wisdom, kindness, effort, concealment of sins, justice, bounteousness, generosity, greatness, love, glory, dignity, insight, and all other goodness and beauty are attributes of God. Knowledge, learning, compassion. Clemency, taking care, peacefulness, remaining aware, sense of duty, determination, honesty, protecting others, generosity, unity, self-control, leniency, approachability, appreciation, moral strength, patience, showing light, guiding, independence, truthfulness, maintenance of people and things, keeping pledges, resolve, benefiting others, beautiful designing, providing, listening, observing, being worthy of trust, nobility of character, giving, and sense of responsibility.
Interestingly, people can make a self-assessment by this spectrum as to where they stand on the ascending ladder of Tazkaya, self-actualization or personal development. This is achieved only one way. Talk the Quran talk, walk the Quran walk. The Quran Unchained